Ever wondered what would happen if you threw a noob into Ragnarok and watched them struggle their way up to take on the bosses of this world? Well this is the start of my adventure and as we meet up with many creatures that I am unfamiliar with, many issues arise and we begin to take them on as noob-like as possible. But now that you've liked and subscribed, let's start off this journey. Waking up on the southwest side of the island, I had put myself in the hostile desert, so I got to work crafting my picks and some clothing to shade me from the sun. There was a lot of strange creatures to be seen, from giant moths to strange large flying bugs. However, before long, I knew it was time to lay down some foundations and create my base. Already feeling good about this, I made just a simple storage box and a campfire until two strange looking giant lizards ran down to the front of my base and with me not knowing if they would attack or not, I had to be cautious now. I got to work on making a bed, just in case anything were to happen, and once this was placed, I cooked up my meat and proceeded over to the strange bug that allowed me to drink from it. Whilst gathering more materials, I looked around the local area to realise there really was nothing else here, just sand, cactus and rocks. As morning was rising and I now carried a bow and arrow, I thought better about attacking these giants at the front of my base, so I put everything away and walked towards one, seeing if it was friendly. Pretty soon, I realised that it was not as I was now being chased and it was firing spikes at me from its tail. Not knowing what to do, I ran around, dodging all of them as it was unable to catch up and soon enough, I had lost it, for now. So back to the base I went to start building up more. I began to need some hide and meat, so headed out looking for anything small enough to kill. But soon enough, two large warthogs began chasing me and whilst they were stuck, I managed to take out a little large-eared mouse before trying to escape and landing right back in front of what turned out to be a thorny dragon before I was finished off by the Deodon. We woke again at the base right next to the other thorny dragon and got it to chase the large camel which I found out was called a Morella Tops as I retrieved my goods and was once again running from those Deodon. In doing so, I ran far enough that I was lost, not quite knowing where I was and hoping to just get back home safely. Eventually, I made it back and decided that now was the time to make a stand. I wanted to see just how strong these guys were, as I began to fire my arrows at the thorny dragon, running, turning and shooting and doing my best to dodge the incoming spikes, until my final arrow caused the beast to front flip in pain leaving me with plenty of meat to spoil so that I could attempt to tame this Morella Tops. Narcotics were now in production and soon after, so were the Trank Arrows as I was getting ready for my first tame. Hopefully this guy was good enough to at least keep me safe for a while. In the pitch black, I began attempting to Trank this new dino, hitting all the arrows I could until finally, I had run out of arrows and we would both run across the beach together whilst I attempted to knock them out with my fists. But after a long chase and many more punches, he was knocked out, but under the water. So as you will all know, my supposed tame quickly drowned and I was left to head on back home empty handed. I cooked up some meat and crafted some more trank arrows ready to try and tame something else as I would not survive long here on my own as shown before but heading out now I was running from dire wolves this time and after a long sprint and needing some water I came out to see plenty of dinos and even a strange kangaroo but this was quickly ruined by a raging raptor but after a few arrows my level 20 was sleeping and soon enough we had tamed raven and I was hoping to craft a saddle so that I could roam a little safer around these lands. I tested him out on some Gallimimus running around and he wasn't too bad, but as I had just gathered enough hide to create a saddle, bugs began to attack me and as Raven jumped in to save me, 
he also knocked into the level 140 Iguanodon, which killed both him and me. So I spawned back again, only to be killed by terror birds, and then a saber tooth before I finally decided to take this adventure to Viking Bay and start anew. However, that will have to wait until next time, but if you'd like to see more of me inside Ark, be sure to catch up on my previous challenge or my live streams, 